Hey everybody, yeah, I'm even better looking now. Um, yesterday was a cataclysmic day. Um, I'm only posting this because I can't be bothered typing it. I've, I'm blogging as I go and finding workarounds for this. Um, as you know, some of you know, I'm, I've been playing with multicharts.net for a while. <clears throat> now, I like to use this as a comparison with multicharts.net last week. Imagine you're a little five-year-old kid and you see a big box under the uh, Christmas tree. You get all excited and it looks great. And then you get all excited and you start whatever. And then you comes Christmas Day and you open the box and there's nothing in it. There's no manual and it's just air, let's say. That's how I feel about multicharts.net. It has a great sexiness front end. Building the instruments, building the signals, uh, building the studies, or what they call the indicators. Really good stuff. Now, when it comes down to what we call whacking in the weeds, getting knee deep in the code, trying to understand their API is really, really useless. I don't know why they did this. My, my uh, quant friend who turned me on to multi charts feels that they probably did that to try and be genius. And what they've done is if you go to look up multicharts.net documentation on Google, you'll find all this API stuff and all these uh, PDFs and it's compatible with uh, trade, uh, trade stations, easy language. Great. You read that, one of them is over 14 or 1,200 pages, and you get all into that. Then you still don't understand anything. And then you go to the forum and you start right from the day they announced this product back in August 2012 or July 2012. And you go through all their stuff and you understand the process. You still don't understand it. There's no tutorial. Uh, they say refer to the help in the Power Language Editor. Now, I'll, I'm going to do a video on this, but there is literally nothing to it. It's not like where you can go to MSDN, look up a help on one of their properties or methods and it's a good description but with a working example and you're trying to figure heads or tails out of this thing honestly it's really Mickey Mouse and because of that I've spent almost a week with it um, I've decided to move on from multi charts now it's a sad thing because multi charts is a very powerful platform the API looks really powerful there's people still using it but there's other people looking at it saying the same thing as I am just going on discussion for them to see if people are hitting walls of frustration now the reason why I'm moving from it is because I have in my membership about a hundred people hundred plus people actually now I can't expect them to figure out this piece of software if I can't do it and that's the challenge for me as running this membership they lost out possibly on dozens of sales for their multi charts because of that now as a result I moved on I'm going back back in time to an open source trading platform and already I already know what I'm doing I mean I've worked with it in the past um, so we're kinda moving ahead with that now the other big challenge I found yesterday was just basically a shite storm <laughs> if you look outside it's a don't fall century of, of a century or whatever for another half a, half a centimeter of snow. Maybe it might be big, I don't know. Anyways, forget snow. I got bigger problems. <laughs> C, or um, MATLAB, I've also put up a posting on this. This is a big challenge. In .NET, there's something called P invoke. Um, for those that don't know what you're doing in your C Sharp or your .NET application, you're doing a direct DLL import of a DLL and then you statically define it externally okay it doesn't mean much and then you can call that static externally defined method um, now I've downloaded a piece of uh, code from Math MathWorks for MATLAB demonstrating the three ways to call a MATLAB M script you can do it through com you can do it through the builder NE you can do it through this uh, MATLAB coder method and then be able to uh, um, generate uh, your <coughs> your uh, you use this p p invoke method. Now, what they suggest MathWork being is to use uh, the way of MATLAB Builder NE. Now, I've done this before, and I forgot about this because I'm not that smart. Um, the Builder NE or the Builder JA 
When you work with the source code within your C sharp and using this methodology, MathWorks has got this crazy way of handling their data and converting it. You gotta prepack it, send that new data to your MATLAB M script function, and then you have to get it comes back and you have to unpack it. La, 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 la. This process takes time. It's too slow for what I need. So I my only option really is code generation. Meaning back to what I also used to do is code generate with either the MATLAB coder toolbox or the, the Simulink coder. Now I've gone on about the two options, the Simulink coder, much better. Yeah, it's a lot lot better to work with. It's less compliant. And it bitches less. Anyway, so the Simulink coder is quite um good to work with. Um, now, when you use a P invoke, uh, math works and they're very, very valid on this. It's not a smart way to do it because um, you have your garbage collector from your C sharp calling your DLL, your C++ DLL, because uh, it may inadvertently get rid of that memory. So that your data basically, uh, and you don't have intelligence, you don't care about that. But that, that, that previous option is a big bad one. So what they define it is, that's a fragile way of communicating with a C++ DLL. So, I'm coming up with an idea, I'm not sure if it's the right way to do it, but I'm hoping it will be, is to use the Simulink coder to generate C. Now there's an advantage with C versus C++, it's a lot simpler, it's a lot easier to look at, less... Uh, C++ is very notorious for just allowing you to pull your hair out. Thankfully, I don't use C++ so much, so I have hair still. Um, but when you see, it's a lot simpler. And what you're going to do is you're going to create a static library. Okay. So from there, you create a managed C++ DLL that will manage that C library, the C static library from MATLAB. That's what I'm thinking of doing. And then from there, with my open source trading platform, I've confirmed that I can have its strategy DLL, no different than multi-charts, be able to call a managed C++ DLL. Quite a bit, I know. But I'm going to put a, a bunch of videos just so you can see it visually and give all references. I'll put that up for my membership. But I'm just letting people know about this because it's one of those critical things that I didn't even know. I mean, it's even stumped uh, a few uh, highly experienced people. They're not sure on it. But above anybody else, I'll take I'll take that claim from MathWorks as as gospel. Why? Because well, it's MathWorks, and they know they most likely know what they're talking about. Um, so I am going to proceed by doing again this method of generating in C, create turn that into a static uh, library. And then creating a manage C++ wrapper that will call that C static uh, library. That's what I'm looking at doing. So I'm still doing it. Once I see it working, I'll confirm with a few people to see if, if it's valid. And if so, we're on to something. And I keep saying we're on to something, I know. But you always get all these gotchas. And as I keep saying, please, 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 please don't hate me because of it. It's technology. It's evolution of software development. This is what I like about it, because it's challenging. But the thing is, um, uh, nothing is final until you start trading with this. You could have all kinds of stuff out there that you think may work, but it doesn't work until you start seeing the El Donero. Just something to think about. And uh, once we get the right workflow together, um, I'm hoping to uh, move on pretty fast and furious.